scam identity theft is huge right now, but this is how you can avoid it. Before you insert your card, tug on it and make sure it's not a skimmer. Skimmers are used by thefts all the time to detect information from your card. But wait, they also use a fake keypad. Use your finger and try to see if it will pop up. If it does, run. Last but not least, check if there's a hidden camera on top of the screen. But wait, don't forget to send this to as many people as possible so they can stay safe too. Is they administer the anesthetic? And he's going to be wiggling his fingers. Stick it in a Ziploc bag and hang it behind your headrest. They can see it and you can reach it. Why didn't I think of that? Why? What? Watch this. Watch this video. You're all being ripped off by pharmaceutical companies and here's how to stop it. Here we have a 4.99 packet of Sudafed Sinex Max Strength and on the back we have the PL code. Just underneath it is the box of the Boots own brand version of the Sudafed. The PL code on the Boots own brand matches that of the Sudafed. These two tablets are exactly the same, probably made in the same factory. I seen this on TikTok. If you have Roku TV, go to Roku channel and then go to live tv and you have a bunch of channels are you interested in buying yourself some cute athletic merch if you click the link in description there are a lot of choices there are a lot of cool merch that you can choose from such as cartoon animals tiktok girls and many more you will also be able to get some discounts from 15% 50% off they offer free worldwide shipping and if you are ready to purchase some of these amazing merch Use the link in my description. So a lot of people are asking me how I'm able to solve questions so fast before they can even finish reading them. And the answer to that is just people that like to do math are lazy. So for example, let's take this question, uh, the cube root of 1728. We know that because it's a cube root, we have a number multiplied by itself three times. And you know, it's too hard to find that number, so let's find something close to it. So let's try x is equal to 10. When you do 10, you do 10 times 10, that gives you 100 times 10, that gives you 1,000. And 1,000 is pretty close to 1728. So that means x has to be bigger than 10. And so here, I don't want to actually like multiply everything to get into 1728. I just want to find what gives me this 8 right here. Well, if we try 11, if we multiply 11 by 11, our ending number is going to be these two numbers, 1. If we multiply by 1 again, that just gives us 1. That doesn't work. So it doesn't work because you multiply 11 by 11. This is 1, this is 1, but a 0. Add it, you get 1. How about we try 12? 2 times 2 gives you 4 times 2 gives you 8. That works, so it's 12. Random life hacks you need. Putting your phone in your back pocket can cause your butt to shrink from the radiation. Some McDonald's salads can actually be more fattening than their burgers. When filling up your car up with gas, hold the trigger halfway to get more la gas and less air. Wearing yellow on camera can make you seem bigger, whereas wearing green makes you seem smaller. You can prevent crumbs on a nature valley bar by microwaving it for 30 seconds before eating it. You can find the password to almost any Wi-Fi by looking through the comments on Foursquare. Drop an earring, bring small screw, turning off the lights and shining a flashlight will light and the item up from their spot. Drinking two cups of water before a meal will help you burn them to 4.5 more pounds than if you don't. Many skincare products contain ingredients that cause you to break out. This way you'll keep on buying their products. You can add up to three years to your life by being sarcastic on a daily basis. Tricks to instantly be more attractive, part two, wear red. Psychological studies show that wearing red has an arousal effect on both men and women. Follow for more tips. Apple's shady sales strategies that everyone needs to know. If you've had your iPhone for long enough, you probably experienced this, running out of storage. In reality, you're now running out of storage. Let me show you. First, you want to go to your settings and click on general. Once you're in, click iPhone storage. Then you want to go all the way down. At the bottom, you'll see other. Click on it. Chances are, if you're running out of storage, most likely your other system data is taking a lot of space. If you try clicking on it, you can't delete it. The only way to delete it is to reset your phone. So make sure before you reset your phone, you back everything up. My phone didn't have any storage for a while. I deleted almost every single app and it still didn't work. And right after I resetted my phone, this happened. My phone now has storage. Pretty shady technique by Apple, but I'm still gonna use it. But this is just something to be aware of. Double tap if your phone's always running out of storage. 
So personally, I really prefer the support of a bra when I'm wearing formal dresses like this one, but a lot of times the straps and the bra band get in the way, so I'm going to teach you a hack that I wish I knew sooner. All you'll need is a low back bra converter. I got mine from Amazon for a few dollars. These are really customizable because they come with a few additional straps, but let's go on to how to use it. You hook it onto your actual bra. You're going to bring it around the waist and then hook it onto the other side, and this creates this V low back look. This hack is perfect for low back dresses, backless dresses, halter dresses dresses, anything. I love wearing it because I personally need that support. Don't forget to do the halter bra hack that I've shown you before where you clasp your bra straps together, but this is the best method for me to get the uplifted look and feel supported. Thanks for watching. Follow for more. Here's how to screenshot an entire text message chain. Go to the app store and download Pixu. Once it's downloaded, go to the text message chain you want to screenshot. Hold down the screen record button, select Pixu, and hit start broadcast. Scroll up so that you capture the entire text chain in the video, and then stop screen recording when done. Something should pop up that says go to application, which you should click. In the Pixaw app, pinch out to make sure you captured all messages, and then press the button in the upper right corner to export to photos. Go to your camera roll, and the entire long text chain should be there. Three phrases that show you lack confidence. Part two. I hate to bother you, but stop saying this. It gives the other person all your power. Instead say, hey, when you got a second, I want to talk to you about something. You'll sound much more confident. Fall for more tips. We go to a lion and cut it in half, took out all the stuffing and replaced it with rocks. And then we hot glued the front and back onto books, spray painted it all gold. And you've got your own custom royal book holder. Doesn't that look awesome? These are three crazy body hacks that actually work. I'm surprised no one knows this, but if you want to run like a hundred times longer, try running as quietly as possible. That means breathing quietly and stepping quietly. Also, boys, if you want to stop an erection, flex one muscle for one minute straight and it'll, it'll, it'll go away. Also, if you want to sleep like a baby tonight, try sleeping with a pillow between your legs. Trust me, it's magical. You're welcome. How to find out who's been stalking your Instagram profile behind your back. Step one, go to your Instagram profile, swipe up, and close the rest of your apps. Step two, reopen your Instagram app back up, go to your profile, go to the corner of the screen, and press insights. Step three, scroll down to the bottom of the insights page and click create story. The final step, switch to your front facing camera and just like that, you there he is! Here's a life lesson that you might find useful. The bullshit never ends. Dealing with the bullshit is your job. If you think you're gonna reach eventually some post bullshit phase of your life, you're not gonna. Take care. If you are currently feeling like you're in a funk or out of whack or you're experiencing negative emotions and feelings like anger, hurt, sadness, fear, guilt, shame, then I want you to stop whatever you're doing because you're most likely using social media as a way to distract yourself from what's actually going on inside of your body. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to roll your shoulders back and I want you to start tapping. What we're going to be doing right now is something called emotional freedom techniques. And as an EFT practitioner, this is something that I teach my clients to help them balance the energy system inside of their body. EFT is a therapy technique that is loosely based off acupuncture and acupressure, which uses the same basic energy meridians on the body to eliminate physical, emotional, and mental issues. The cause of all negative emotions is a disruption of the body's energy system. Imagine your body like those old TVs with the wires and circuit boards. If you were to jam a screwdriver inside, then it would disrupt the flow of energy. The same thing happens inside of your body when you experience a negative emotion. If you want to know more, follow me for part two. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Someone's Instagram story without them knowing. Go to storiesig.com and type in the account you want to look at. I used Camila Mendez as an example. Remember, the person has to have a public profile. Then click their username and scroll down to look at their stories without them knowing. You can even press download and download the images and videos that they post. So a lot of us do stupid stuff. So here's three dumb things you shouldn't try. And this is why. So if you're playing video games, have you ever wondered what would happen if you actually shot something straight in the air? Like a bullet, for example. Well, it would go straight up and right back down at 400 miles an hour. And you'd probably end up like this. Now we all know someone who drinks those water bottles way too quick. And did you know if you drink too much water, you can get water intoxication, which can lead to brain damage, seizures, or make you go bye-bye. And because you drink all that water, what happens if you just didn't pee it out? Well, it could lead to infection. And you're gonna be looking like this kid then. Now, they're not gonna know. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. Okay. They're gonna know. How will they know? They're gonna know. How?
it's currently 1 a.m. and I can't fall asleep, so I'm gonna try this military technique that's supposed to get you to sleep in two minutes. Step one is to relax the muscles in your face, including tongue, jaw, and muscles underneath your eyes. Apparently those exist, so like, I just do like... Step two is to drop your shoulder, upper arm, and lower arm in this particular order, one arm at a time. Then do the second one too. <laughs> Step three is to breathe out, relax your chest, and then your legs. <sighs> Step four is to close your eyes and clear your mind. Now that your mind is perfectly clear, step five is to say the following for the next 10 seconds. Don't think. 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 This is the Eternal Jukebox. How it works is you click pick a song, and for whatever reason, Gangnam Style is the most popular song. So we'll do that. And once it loads, it'll load this little thing. And this is all of the similarities within that song. And what it'll do is it'll loop in between these similarities and it will play the song forever. So you can go and listen to Gangnam Style for as long as you want and nothing will stop you. This was made by some dudes at MIT who were way too smart for me, but enjoy. So I like to do this thing where I buy pre-made sandwiches for the beach and then I take them out of the container and then I pack aluminum foil in my cooler. And now you're just gonna roll it up in the foil. And now when I pull it out of my cooler, everyone's gonna be like, wow, it's a beautiful sandwich, Zachary. And I'm just gonna tell them I made it because it looks like I did because it's in foil. Super useful iPhone tips, part seven. Number one, when you press and hold on an app and then drag it to move it around to rearrange your home screen, you can actually tap on other apps and it will group them together so you can move multiple apps at once. When you're wanting to connect to a Wi-Fi network from the control center, you can actually press and hold on the Wi-Fi icon and it will show you all of the available networks. And then also, it works with the Bluetooth as well. Really cool. Here are three life hacks you never knew. Number one, on accountkiller.com, you can remove any website data that you don't want about yourself. So basically anything that's online that you don't want to see. Number two, if you're ever at an airport and you don't want to pay for the Wi-Fi, Add question mark dot jpg at the end of the URL to get free Wi-Fi. And finally, number three, go to the website iamawesome.com and prepare to be amazed. Follow me for more. Life hacks for college that no one ever tells you. Part two. Your school library might have copies of textbooks that you'll need, especially for your gen ed classes, and there's some websites that even have free PDF versions of textbooks. <coughs> Sorry, go to the job fair even if you're just a freshman. I've been on both sides of these. Those people are there just to talk to people, and their day's a lot more interesting if they are. So just go strike up a conversation with some jobs you might be interested in later in the future and make good face to face connections with people. Get an email, and it could turn into a job later. Make an appointment with your school's therapy office at the beginning of the semester. It could be really helpful later to already be in their system, and the more students that sign up means the more funding they'll bring to it. Go to your professor's office hours at the beginning of the semester. A lot of people don't take advantage of this, and the face to face connection you have with your professor could help you later in the class if you're struggling. Life hacks that will save your life one day, part two. Pulling out objects from wounds. Now it is totally safe to pull a splinter out from your hand. However, you should never try to pull out any serious objects from an injury. And this is because when the object is in the wound, it doesn't let the bleeding start. Next, if you're going to ice a bruise, you should always put a napkin underneath the ice so you don't risk getting a cold burn, which is way worse than the bruise. And only ice for a maximum of 20 minutes at a time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, this life hack. Oh my god, I am literally gonna go to the dollar store right now. Do you think this would really work? Because this is genius. Target life hack check. So, if you go to Target sometimes and you get lucky, you can look underneath where they stock things and typically there are a lot of really cool old items that people hide under here. Uh, go check it out. Happy finding! Okay, if you guys are iPhone users, you probably know the struggle. You're like typing a bunch of numbers and stuff and then you accidentally type a wrong one and you have to redo it, the whole thing. But guys, I found something better. 
All you have to do is this. Boom. What the heck? I never.